Hello and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial video. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can add the trend line on Power BI chart. So generally, this is a part of the reference line that I have been showing here. But I want to show you that it's not available for every chart and how you can add a relevant chart and check for this option. Well, uh, so let's go into the Power BI. And before that, quick information that this sheet where I'm keeping all of my Power BI video is a live sheet. And you can keep it as a bookmark so that all of my historical as well as future video you will have it available for your power bi learning or for any particular topic you want to search you can quickly search it over here and use it use this uh, bookmark which is present in the column b and you can uh, view these videos very easily with that let's move on to the power bi so here we are in the power bi in one of the previous videos i have shown you this how you can add the multiple reference line chart okay so what i will going to do is i will be first of all checking whether a trend line is present here so we have constant line minimum line maximum line we created median line percent and line but there is no um, trend line well you may be wondering why well as i said in the start it is based on the type of a chart that you are using so what i'll do is i'll select this and delete this and create a new chart which is a scatter chart and I will expand this so this scatter chart will be based on the x-axis y-axis I will use the numeric values the sales versus profit the sales and the profit so far one dot so to increase the number of dots what I'm going to use is the customer name on the details so that way I have the sales and profit for each customer like this customer name Becky Martin you have sales of 11,000 but you are having loss so this gives you some a good idea as to what are those customer which is below zero that means they are you know having they are our customer who are giving us loss and then you know customer like this one who are giving us huge profit right so what if if you want to get a general idea as to okay if i see this overall customers for sales and profit then am i overall on the declining side or on the higher side well in that case i will come here on the analytics pane and here in this case you have the trend line along with the trend line you have x-axis constant line y-axis minimum max and all of these along with you have some symmetry shading and ratio line so a lot of options which is enabled for you but for now since this is a topic for trend line i will just simply go ahead and show you very quickly that you can add a trend line this trend line is basically based on the uh, the data that is being observed on this chart and overall based on the linear trend or the linear uh, linearity of the data the trend line is being created so you have the trend line you can change the color let's say a slightly uh, lower color uh, the the color which is giving you the less intensity also what is the line style which is based on solid or dotted i think dotted is good and you have this combined series on so that's fine and that way these are basically right now the options that you have maybe in the future what i would really like to see is that they give us more options in terms of um, where we can play around with this line not just the linear let's say uh, there are multiple ways in which you can draw a trend line and you can try to fit it as much as possible also uh, it's an it will be an interesting thing to see the formula of this line so every line which is based on these observed values you know there is like regression line sort of a regression line has the formula behind it so what is the formula we don't know right now because we don't have the option so this is what uh, what is right now available as of uh, recording of this video but let's see in the future if there are more and more options that is coming uh, to show us what additionally thing you can do the trend line with that now i'll meet you in the next video with a new topic and thank you for watching